Okay, so you got Pro Tools and you have this fire beat that you want to record to, but you have no clue how to use Pro Tools. You've opened it up a couple times and it all looks like hieroglyphics, right, Phil? I'm here to show you the way. Get that fire beat ready, open up Pro Tools if you got it, and let's get you recording. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Sharing is always appreciated. Enjoy the video. All right, here we go. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna open up Pro Tools. Open up, open up. Open up, open up. Don't worry that mine says ultimate. It's all the same. Open up, open up. Open up, open up. All right. Cool. Now we're going to start a new session. Name this PT Basic 1. Okay, cool. Uh, local storage is fine. Location, put it wherever you want. I'm going to put it in my own different folder. But if you hit the location, it'll open up a little prompt and you can put it whatever, wherever you want. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab this beat that I made. And I'm just going to drag it in. You can drag it in. You can use the file import. But why? Too many steps. Open up this little window. Drag it over. Pop, pop, pop it in. Test it out. Sounds good. Just a little quick tip while you're recording, you're definitely going to make sure it's at 128 samples. You will get the least amount of latency while you're recording. And then when you go over to the mixing process, you can change it to 1024. Click OK. Change this because my OCD is crazy. Just need to say pop, not soda. All caps. Okay, now we're going to bring in this record track for a vocal track. It's got to be mono. If you do a stereo, you're crazy. Audio track. And you can name it right up in here. We're going to call it Mic 1. Usually I'll name it whatever the artist is, but for the sakes of this video, we'll just do Mic 1. Uh, the system should automatically see your interface. So right here I have two analog inputs for microphones. So I'm going to choose analog one. And make sure if you have a condenser microphone, you have the phantom power on. That would be the plus 48 V option on your interface. Check one. Check one. Sounds good. La 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 la. Mm. This is a little volume slider you can use with all the same functions of the track record solo mute all those things you can put it wherever you want or you can use the mix window here la 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 la, la. beautiful lots of options now we're going to record something little red button here record arm the track so it's ready record on the system right here and make sure both of these are red. And then to start recording, hit the space bar. And recorded something amazing. La, 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 la. Mm. Yeah. Look at you, you're recording. Mm. What's up? So those are the basic steps there. Use the pop out volume knob. It's only the output. It's not going to affect what's coming in. All right, that's good to go. We can take off track arm and listen back to it. Yeah. Mm. What's up? <laughs> All right. Now that we got something we think we may like, we can go to File, Bounce to Disk, and you're going to do a little export bounce. We're going to do a little MP3. It should automatically be set to your output since you can hear it. Switch it to MP3. Instead of multi-mono, we're going to do interleaved, so we get one file instead of two separate files. 
44.1 is fine. We're going to name it PT Basic 1. Choose where you want it to go. I'm just going to send it to the Pro Tools Bounced Files folder. And I have offline checked. If you're going to do it not offline, you're going to do it in real time. You're going to listen to the whole thing while it bounces. But this is the quickest way. I'm going to hit Bounce. I'm going to set the meta metadata for the MP3. Titled PT Basic 1. Artist Stellar Screens. We're going to hit OK. It's only a minute long, so it's going to be really quick. Boom. And now we'll go and we'll go and check the folder that I sent it to. PT Basic 1, Bounced Files. There we are. We're going to preview. And that's how we do it. La, 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 la. Gorgeous. Yeah. Mm. What's up? I really, really hope this was helpful. This is my very first video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, if I missed anything, if you're still confused, let me know. I can do a rebuttal video. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I am Silver Screens. This has been a little tutorial for you. Let me know if you have any ideas for other videos. And always, happy recording, happy creating. Peace.